Back in January, our elected representatives passed the contract with America. And the very first provision that they voted on says that from now on, all laws that apply to the rest of us have to apply to them. No more special favors, no more special privileges. We're all equal now under the contract with America. And I, I've just been so happy about this that I've decided to go down to our nation's capital and take advantage of my new contract with Congress. It's summertime in our nation's capital when thousands of tourists arrive to enjoy the historic sites and the stirring monuments. But now, there's even more they can look forward to. You see, the U.S. Congress was once the den of privileged fat cat politicians who had their own private subway cars, elevators, health club, restaurant, free medical care, skin care, postage, and parking. But then came the contract with America. In its very first article, the contract proposed that laws applying to the rest of the country also apply equally to the Congress. We have forced Congress to abide by the same laws as everyone else. In other words, Congress would end all their special privileges and become just like us. In February, Congress overwhelmingly passed this article into law. We are passing a bill which radically changes congressional behavior. And just like that, everything changed. This is all about touching every American citizen and saying, hey, we hear you. We love our country like you do, and we're going to give it back to you. The Capitol is now a happy sharing place where the U.S. public and members of Congress exist equally under the same rules. So what are you waiting for, fellow citizen? Let's go get the equal treatment we've got coming to us. Starting with lunch at that one-time bastion of special privilege, the Congressional Dining Room. Would you like to have lunch, please? This is for members of Congress. I thought the contract with America says you don't have to be a member anymore, like we're all equal now. We are? Another order of Melba toast? Help yourself, citizen. It's all part of the new equality with Congress. But if you do get a little indigestion, step on over to the Walter Reed Army Hospital. Uh... For years, Congress has received free health care here, while repeatedly voting it down for the rest of us. E F P O. E but thanks to the contract, that's all ancient history. Members of Congress get treated for free here at Walter Reed? That's correct. Um, well, could I be treated for free? Uh, who are you, sir? I'm a citizen of America, Michael Moore, from TV Nation. Hi. There's no one else we can talk to. Doctor? Nobody? Is there a PR person we can talk to? I am, I am a PR guy. I don't want to be on TV. Is there a commander we can talk to? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you hit the road, Jack. Huh? Hit the road, Jack. Why? Yes, Jack, you will need to hit the road if you're going to take advantage of all the privileges once reserved for Congress. Thanks for the popsicle stack. And thanks to the attentive military police, you'll make excellent time on your way to the Library of Congress. After all, who needs to check books out when you can hire perky young staffers to read them for you? Where do I go to check these books out? You can't take them out of the Library of Congress. Why? It's land books. You don't lend? We're a research library. Is there anyone who can take books out? Uh, well, congressional members can. I want to take them home. Can't you? But the contract, I think, says I can. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that on TV. Next, it's a quick ride back to the Capitol in the subway car once reserved for members of Congress. I know. I thought they. I thought they forgot to take the signs down. They have to abide by the same rules as us now. Can I just give this to you? Huh? We take that now? Good point, Mr. Conductor. Why ride when it's a beautiful day for a summer stroll? Back at the Capitol, it's straight to the top in the fancy elevator that before the contract with America was for Congress people only. Can you use this one here? No, the other one. Sir, around this side, please. No. Members, that's me. We're all members of the, we're citizens. Everyone's equal now. But why bother when there are plenty of places to visit at ground level, such as the Congressional Gym? Thanks to the contract, it's now America's playground. That's two points for the average citizen. Yeah, we're just using the gym here. I have to ask you to leave the gymnasium. It's for members only. Yes, the warm and caring fitness instructors here are never shy about saying when they think you've had too much exercise. Congress has always gotten their drapes clean for free. Now, thanks to the contract, so can you and I. I can't even get my drapes cleaned. I 
okay, this isn't a place to get your drapes clean. You can either come in, put your stuff through security, and, and visit around, or you can go back out. Thank you, Capital Security, for taking dirty laundry off our hands. It looks like you could use a little pick-me-up, citizen, and, well, you're in for a treat. There is one congressional privilege that is truly open to all. The right to enjoy a congressional facial. They don't pump this stuff in directly from the floor of the house. No. Like, a lot of hot air. <laughs> sure, it's not free, but then true beauty rarely is. I am now one with Congress. You sure are. And that means it's time to go home. Thanks to the convenient airport parking once reserved for members of Congress, making your plane is a cinch. And with the handy towing service, there's no need to return your rent a car. As your plane whisks you homeward, look down and say goodbye to our nation's capital, where, thanks to the contract with America, members of Congress abide by the same rules as you or I. Some restrictions may apply. The contract with America is in no way a legally binding document. Benefits and prices may vary according to elected office. Offer board were prohibited by law. Facials at the Congressional Beauty Salon are available to the general public for $45 plus tax. Appointments can be made between the hours of 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Congressional back waxing also available.